The title of this field lesson will be, Is This Charcoal Rot? Today I got a call from a farmer down here in Missouri and he described some black powdery substance that was on his corn and I said, does it come off on your shirt? He said, yes it does. The reason I asked that, anthracnose can be a black, dark colored substance on a corn plant, but it will not come off on your clothing. Charcoal rod will come off and make your white shirt not look white anymore. So it didn't sound like charcoal rot because I asked him, how, how long ago did your corn pollinate? He said, about two weeks ago. I said, is your corn dying? He said, no, it's, it's looking very good. Well, the reason I wanted to rule out charcoal rot was because charcoal rot usually makes its appearance more toward plant senescence. And by senescence, I mean it's the natural maturing or natural turning of color from green to tan that we see in late August, early September. That's when charcoal rot really makes itself known. Well, we are several weeks from that point. So I, I called the farmer back and I said, I need to come, out, come down and look at it. And for you district sales managers and dealers that go out and look at field call type situations, that's a good lesson for you. I got the call. He was two and a half hours from me. I came down here to look at this field today. I didn't wait till tomorrow. He couldn't believe I came all the way down here. Now I'm in that field. And here's the black substance he's talking about. It is actually pollen. And it looks like it's kind of a dirty look on the leaf. This is pollen grains that did not find silk, but that landed on the leaf and now appears to be, he thought it was some kind of a disease. It is not, it is pollen that has landed on that leaf. And you can tell, one thing you can do is look on the back side of the leaf and there are no lesions whatsoever. I mean, there's a spot here and a spot there. That's actually a little spot of gray leaf spot, but not near, if this black was a disease, this whole backside of this leaf would be in trouble. And I can even, this spot right here, I've got enough sweat on me, I can just rub my sweaty palm on, on that and you can see it cleans right off. There's no disease lesion there. So that is a good lesson. When you get a, an issue call, go out as soon as you can to deal with that call. And this is also another lesson that when the farmer gives you a description over the phone, He's quite often emotional. He thought there was a disease in his corn. He knows how valuable the corn crop is. And he was giving me some inaccurate information over the phone. The best thing for me to do was to go down there. I could tell he was distressed. Go down there that same day, if at all possible, and look at that field. And in this case, it was great news. He felt embarrassed that I had come all the way down, to, down here to Missouri to look at his corn field. But he said, I love agronomy calls like this because your corn is very happy, healthy corn. So not charcoal rot, it's pollen.